Lord. Hallelujah. I want to share um, what happened to me in 1990. I guess it was 91, 92, somewhere around in there. Uh, I was in a backslidden state and I was sinning, sinning grievously against the Lord. Grievous, terrible sin. That no longer stings me because I've been forgiven by the blood of the Lamb. But during that time when I sinned, the Bible says, God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man sows, that shall he also reap. So to the flesh you reap death, so to the spirit you reap life. And at this time, I was backslidden. I was sown in the flesh. And I committed grievous sin. And I got bacterial pneumonia in my left lung. And I didn't know what it was. And my ankle swelled up as big as my calf. Uh, they were all yellow. I had no oxygen in my system. I finally went to the emergency room. And it took them five hours to admit me, but... At that time, I didn't have any money or anything. I was in a backslidden state, just living like hell. You know, I didn't have a very good job then. But they admitted me, finally put me in isolation. And I went through extreme pain. They were taking blood out of my wrists and everything. And I'm just sharing this with you to let you know that they told me if I would have waited one more day that I would have died. And I can assure you that if I would have died in that condition, okay, uh, I probably would have went to hell, more than likely. Okay. Now, I had repented for my sin, but, you know, I, I just have to tell you this, that as a grown-up Roman Catholic, Roman Catholics have the mentality, a lot of them, you know, you can, it's all right to sin, you can sin, and, you know, you can go to the priest and confess your sins, you know, and he'll bless you, you know, and, you, just, you know, you kneel there, forgive me, Father, for I've sinned, blah, 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 I did this and that, and da-da-da-da-da, you know, and, and then he blesses you and says, Say five Hail Marys and three Our Fathers, you know, and don't let it happen again. Come back next week, give me some more greasy details, you know. Um, but the thing is, is that I had repented to the Lord for that sin that I committed. And uh, and so I knew the Lord had forgiven me. But still, I felt like if, if I would have died, I probably would have went to hell. That's how I felt. You know? But see, God was gracious. He was chastening me sore because of my sin his law of if you sow to the flesh you reap corruption was was taking place in my life and he was faithful to allow that to happen to me okay so that I would turn back to him you know then it was two or three years later that I did turn back to the Lord after that but I'm sharing this because God allows things to happen in a believer's life to bring him it's always to bring us to him it's always to bring us to him for his glory. I got it written on my computer, unto your glory, O Lord Jesus, unto your glory. If it's not for his glory, I don't want nothing of it. Sharon doesn't want nothing of it. He's teaching. He's taking us deeper. Okay? He wants to take us all deeper. There's a river speaks about in Ezekiel chapter forty seven. And that river is is <clears throat> I did the mathematics on it with the I forget which cubit I use, whether the Egyptian or the Hebrew, but it's something like six miles across. It's a big river. Okay, and God wants us to get out in the river where it's a river to swim in. Okay, He wants to be able to take us as believers down that river where He wants to lead us and guide us. I mean, but we we continually want to wade in the knee knee water or wastewater, you know, because we feel safe with the solid ground under our feet, you know. And uh, and the Lord Jesus is saying, Hey, why don't you come out in the middle of the river? Come on out here. Because out here the water's flowing, see. Water's flowing. So come on out today, said the Lord. Come out to the river and flow with me. Let me be your guide. And if you sin, get up. See, get up. Don't let the devil dog you down. He's a liar and the father of it. You get up. Let the Lord lead you and guide you. He'll forgive you. He's faithful and just to forgive you when you confess your sins. Hallelujah. And to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Hallelujah.
and to cleanse us, all of his children. He loves us all so much. So the Lord bless you today. In Jesus' name, amen. You